2022 is gonna be a lot like 2017 when I first came into office. And I'm gonna be hitting the ground, running hard, even in the midst of this pandemic. We're gonna to continue to open up and reveal opportunities that our communities have never enjoyed prior to me being in office. In addition to the facilities here at West Lakeside Park that we look forward to opening, we have projects that are happening in Lake Guterres at Lopez Canyon. So there's a lot of great open space opportunities that we're gonna be delivering this year and in the years to come. The Olivia Mitchell Youth Council is an opportunity for us to engage more young people to being part of the solution and participating in their local government. And so I'm looking forward to seeing more young Angelinos from every corner of our city being more engaged and learning more about how they can be part of the solutions here at City Hall. One of the opportunities that I'm most excited about is the areas where we're offering resources to pilot the removal of RVs and moving people into permanent supportive housing. And so working very closely with LASA and so many of our partners, we're gonna to continue to make progress in the Northeast San Fernando Valley. So in addition to the work that I've led to help reconstitute our emergency evacuations for large animals and equine keeping areas, we're gonna to continue to help promote safety and registration for those owners and their animals. And so I'm looking forward to having another Make Your Horse Count event and engaging all the members of our area to come out and enjoy these very spectacular events, especially around the love of, of our animals and our families. I'm gonna to continue to remain focused, as I have in the last five years, on working to improve our traffic conditions and safety for our pedestrians, our equestrians, our bicyclists, and our motorists. And the way we're gonna do that is continuing to invest in improving our transportation corridors. We have secured, in my tenure, $183 million worth of public improvements. I'm looking forward to continuing to advance opportunities that help deliver unique solutions for jobs that meet the needs for our neighborhoods.